Okay, hello. To show that a charged capacitor stores energy. It's a, game, it's a fairly simple experiment. All you need is a capacitor with light bulbs and a power supply. I'm going to turn on the power supply. When I do so, charge is going to run from the power supply onto the positive plate. Because it runs through the light bulb, you've got current going through it. So until the current stops, current will go through it and therefore it'll light up. This, however, will just take a fraction of a second. So you focus in on the light bulbs. Three, two, one, turn it on. And there it goes, it flashes. So we had current which filled up that top plate. The charge now filled up, so therefore no more charge can be put onto it. We now want to show that it's a charge capacitor and that it stores energy. I'm going to take the power supply out of the way. It still has energy stored on it, so to demonstrate that it has stored energy, I am going to short circuit the two leads. So three, two, one, and we get another little flash. So what happened there at that time was when I short circuited them, the charge here ran down the red. The negative charge or the positive charge ran down the other one, if you want to think about it that way, that's the way it's often explained. In reality, it's just electrons going one way or the other. And as they ran back to cancel each other out, they ran through the light bulb, and so it flashed briefly. So that's all there is to it. Now, while we are there, that's a demonstration to show that a charged capacitor stores energy. While we've got the capacitor set up, let's go back, and this guy off to begin with, and show what happens when we run our DC. So once again, this is the same as before. I turn it on the DC, it flashes. It's not running anymore. I've got my power supply turned on. I don't have current going through it because the current can't get from the top to bottom. Therefore, a capacitor like this will not allow DC current to flow through it, apart from a flowing of electrons in the first initial half a second. However, if I switch this to alternating, at the moment it's turned off. In fact, I just short circuited there, that's why it flashed, but it's still turned off. Now what happens is they're constantly being charging and discharging. So the electrons are going up on one side, then back on the other, up on one, back on the other. They're never actually going from one plate to the other, but because they're constantly moving, it's as if the electrons are going from one plate to another. So we say that a parallel plate capacitor like this will allow alternative current or AC current to go through. So I just turn it on, and all it does is it stays light like that. But again, if that was direct current, you'd only have the initial flash. So there you go, demonstrating that alternating current will flow with a capacitor, but direct current will not flow with a capacitor. And we'll see later on what applications.